everybody, welcome back to my series one, 30 days to die series. So yeah, um, we are here in a different town and I'm gonna have a quick look at the map here real quick. I did find another trader back here. It was actually relatively close to our house. Our house is just like over here. Um, but I found this really big bookstore here that I wanna hit up today. I don't know how hard this is gonna be, but we're gonna go in here today and check this out. Um, I just kind of left home four o'clock in the morning, drove here. So it took a couple of hours of for prepping and getting ready to come here. I don't foresee this place being too tough, but I thought I would record it because I've never been in here before. Um, I don't know if there's a really easy way to get in here. I think these doors are probably locked. Yeah, so let's go look around the outside. See if we got anything around here. Watch out for landmines, because we are in the uh, wasteland biome here. Let's see anything. Maybe there's a back door. Or a roof or something, maybe. Keep my eye open for dogs, too. Oh, there is a back door. Uh, maybe not. Looked like maybe it was a shipping door at one time, but that's all blocked off. Uh, maybe, oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Let's hit the ladder. Can we get up there? Looks like it. Nope, we can't. Gotta put a frame down. Let's do that. I did bring a few frames with me this time, so I hope so a little bit. All right. Maybe we're not supposed to go this way, but we should probably clear this damn roof out first. This would be a great POI to start off in. Wow. Whoa, okay. That's not good. Die. Get off me. I'm gonna get a click here in a second. Yep. Come on, slow him down. There you go. What did I say about it not being too hard? Yeah, you want a piece of me now, don't you? Those two handled. What do we got here? Is this guy a runner? No, we got another radiated though. That's not good. Now, there is a dog I'm hearing down below. Okay, nothing here. Did they survive? I don't see them. They're awake inside, though, I think. Yeah, they're going to start breaking stuff. All right. Um, got him. Okay, good. Actually, let's reload first. I don't see... Any easy way in here. Except for maybe there. Which I don't think we want to do. So, um... I don't like the idea of going back downstairs either. I wonder if there's a way in here. We could just break in. Is there a window here? I hear a dog. Ooh. Okay, we got a window. There are a couple of walkers in there too. Like a big mama walker. Wow. Maybe she did survive. We got our own little horde here. What the heck? Okay, you're a runner. You weren't. I didn't want to waste my ammo like this, but... Better to be safe than sorry. All right, let's switch it up. These guys don't look that tough. He says before he dies. Oop. Steel arrows are definitely cheaper than making ammo for the gun. Like, this is a great POI. Like, it's all concrete. Hold still. Yeah, man, you want books? Come in here. Okay, we got a guy coming up the stairs. Being very angry over there. Um, I should probably... We're going to do this. Make a set of stairs to get out of here. Just in case. we got to stay quiet. 
I don't know. I think we got the whole roof here, maybe? But I don't know. Or the whole upper floor, I mean. Come on, buddy. In your head. Yeah, shoulder. Good enough. Don't go be oh, behind the bookshelf. Alright, what do we got here? We got a bag. 250 dukes. I'll take it. I mean, not the best thing in the world, but we'll take it. Is that an arrow? Sure is. Let's get some ammo back. Okay, we're going to stealth this sucker. I think this upper floor is probably cleared by now. And I think probably part of the floor below. It wasn't really how I was planning on getting in here. I thought there would have been an uh, easy way into the place. Okay. I really shouldn't be walking like this. The people down below will hear me. There's one down there. Okay, that guy's gone. We got one right here by the pillar. This guy's probably a runner. Nope. He's a deader. It's a deadite. Yeah, they banged the crap out of it. Look at they knocked that out. Or almost knocked it out. Yeah, they must have heard me on the roof, like walking around. Alright, we're going downstairs. Oh, that's the front door. Oh, this place isn't as big as I thought. We got a guy sleeping right here. It's a Mo. See ya. So it was confirmed by the fun pimps that that Mo skin is actually the uh, Edgar skin from Men in Black. So Cage 848 is 100% correct in calling him Edgar, I guess. But I still call him Mo because that's what he's called in the uh, in the source files. So I think more Mo is a little bit more fitting. Oh yeah, there was an airdrop that happened while I was driving around. I never went to get get it because extra food and whatever else isn't going to give us that much. All right. Um, is this door open? It is. Uh huh. You little. Oh, it's always going to be Mo. Oh, shoot! Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Get off me. Big boy. Ah, they're awake. Mo, this is all your fault. Damn it, Mo. Alright, we got some more guys in here. What do we got? Looks like a bunch of walkers. Come on, guys, I'm over here. Gotta keep my eye open here. I hope that other zombie noises from outside. Shoot. Yeah, that was from outside. They blew up a car. Can't see it. Yeah, you gotta kind of like shoot at them out here because they don't. Um, the hitboxes for that. Uh... Yeah, all right, looks like there was a party going on in the bathroom. The hitboxes for the um, for those metal uh, shelves isn't very good. Okay, good thing you were. Silent. Looks like you're just a walker. A lot of zombies in here, man. Should be able to clear this place. Well, as long as we don't do that. Oh, this guy came in from outside. Bet you he wishes he hadn't. Okay, we got somebody sleeping. I don't know if it's here. Yep, it is. It's a big boy, and he's feral. my arrow back. Looks like we got a cash register here. Is 
Stay very quiet. I think we're pretty close to being done. This is actually a pretty good POI. If you come in here at lower level, I bet you it would be really fun. I should give it, I should, you know, I should start giving a scale of difficulty because this isn't really, if you come in like I did from above, not really that difficult. I like the idea of starting top down, not bottom up because I don't like the idea of zombies falling down on you from above. Oh, there's a guy right here. Especially if there's a roof up there. Is that a guy? I don't know. Of course it's a guy. And he's feral. not waste the ammo so once this is done I'm gonna loot this place and then we'll go back to the base because before this episode's over I want to show you guys what I've done to the base um, I mean I did a, a few minor changes just really to protect it from uh, tough wandering hordes and, and such all right I think we're good here get my arrow back all right I'm gonna loot this place and then I'll show you what we picked up so uh, let's do this alright guys well I went through this whole place I didn't knock out the paintings I don't think there's gonna be any wall safes not that I really care but um, I just really here looking for schematics so we didn't get a whole lot we got another die which we don't need uh, four times scope um, military plating schematic which is good and then a whole bunch of these guys I mean we can sell them, I guess. Got another pur water purifier schematic, which we've already got on our helmet, so it's no big deal. 478 dukes, which included the dukes that we picked up in the uh, uh, the, the loot drop, the bag drop. Uh, yeah, so not a whole lot of stuff. I'm kind of really underwhelmed with this place. I thought we'd have more, but you know, it looks like we lost two shelves here in the original um, fight down here. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a really nice POI. Like, if you make this your base, it's pretty damn cool. You knock out the stairs, put a ladder in, and then you just make this all bars down into the... Like, knock all that stuff down below. Make all this um, bars so you can see down. So if they do break in, you can just kill them from above up here. All concrete pillows. You can add a few more pillars if you want, make them all reinforced concrete. This would be a great POI to start off in. Um... Yeah, and then you've got the ledges outside so you can see down here and shoot outside. So, yeah, wonderful POI. I think it would be a great place as a starter base. Um, but uh, as far as loot goes, I mean, early game, this would be pretty good for loot. You could sell all this stuff off at the traders if you wanted to and make some good cash. But uh, uh, overall, overall, I think I'm pretty underwhelmed with the place. Except for the layout. Like I said, the layout and design is fantastic. Um, it's a wonderful POI. So, yeah, the archers are, like, the whole front here is really nice. Stairs are really nice. I mean, you could put, like, a, a shooting gallery up here, use the stairs, put barbed wire on it, just fire down on zombies trying to come up to you as a start. And there's a whole lot of things you could do. Hey, dog and... Dog boarding and grooming. What time is it in the day? 12.23. Let's go in there. I've seen many uh, YouTubers go through that POI. Not necessarily tough, but there are a lot, a, lot of, a lot of dogs in there, so I thought we'd go in and try it. Oh, landmine. That would be a rude surprise. Alright, let's do this. Um, let's start off with the gun. Because I don't like the idea of this place one bit. Okay, the other thing too is I didn't grab the leather from the last location. There's a radiator back there. Let's get the person outside here first. Um, there's a ton of leather couches in that last place too, so if you wanted leather, you could definitely get a lot of leather out of that last place. Oh, you jumped right into it. Nice. Two down, one down, and two down. Good. All right. Let's get back in here. Alright, it's going to be Mo. Is it Mo? Looks like Mo. Let's hope there's no uh, damage floor for me to fall into. It 
It's his other brother, Mo. And a bunch of others. Oh, not the landmine. Come on, guys. Right here. And that's not a landmine. That's just a regular zombie. I guess that's just a hubcap. Ah, some more cash. Nice, that's 579 dukes. 579, I guess that's just a hubcap. I still remember the very first time I thought it was a hubcap on the ground. I went to harvest it and I hit it and it exploded <laughs> and killed me. One of the very first times I was experiencing uh, landmines in this game. I'm like, oh great, a hubcap. I'll just pick that up with my axe. Nope. Not today. Not looking forward to these dogs. Guess we better check this first. Okay, I think that other radiator came out of here. Oh. Okay, these are drawers. Now, I know there's dogs in here. I don't know, can dogs be like feral and radiated? I think we should just wake him up. There's one. Oh, and there's the rest of them. What's up, guys? Okay. Not that bad. I mean, I guess it would have been bad if this was, like, early game. But, I mean, we got full military armor on, too, so it's not like... It's that bad for us? What is that? It's a regular pipe? Yeah, that looks like it's totally, uh... Gonna be safe. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, that's not good. And we gotta drop down. I am definitely, I gotta say, loving the burst group on this. I just wish there was a toggle switch you could turn it off and on. Because I lo would have loved to have turned it off for that first uh, encounter. Shooting through the wall there. Come on. I could get up here sneaking, but I can't get up here walking, huh? Like, I would have loved to have just had full automatic right there. I don't think there's anybody back here. They would have woke up. But we gotta check those corners. Okay, let's grab these. Always great for wrenching these for mechanical parts. I mean, we got so many mechanical parts, we don't really need them, but... Taking them anyway. We're gonna loot this place after. Uh, okay, so that's locked. So let's go through here. Seems that they've uh, made us a little doorway. Let's keep the gun out. I don't like the idea of being in a closed space. Alright, what do we got? Something behind there. That's the door of the room we were in. I was expecting to find more dogs up here too, but I guess not. What's in here? Oh, well. Speak of the dogs. Oh, 
Wake that zombie up. All right. Problem two solved. I guess we go outside. Okay, watching for birds here. Yeah, this is another kind of a cool POI too. It's kind of like got brick and everything all the way around, brick and concrete. It's a smaller footprint than the other uh, place over there, so it's a little easier to defend. I still like those places right there. That's such an easy tower to defend. You make the whole bottom concrete. The second floor is your base. Uh, I guess we're going to the roof because that sounds like a great idea, eh? Person to remember to get that in the way back. Um, wish there was more room to drive the motorbike up here. You can just drive around on the motorbike. Oh yeah, that uh, that doesn't look bad in any way, does it? Well, it is Dogo's. What does it say when you kill the birds first because they're the threat? Well, that was easy. As long as they don't hear you, I guess. What else? Anything else over here? That's a bag. Okay. I think we're good. He says, questioning. Like, this looks like it's all concrete, too, down here. Anything else over here? Wow, just a bunch of arrows for the roof, I guess. Sure. How many did I lose? Got two back. We lost four. Ah, no big deal. Let's get this stuff here. Okay, I am going to loot this place. And I don't think we're going to be able to take everything back with us because we got way too much crap. <sighs> Alright, let's just start getting rid of some stuff here. Let's scrap this. We're going to scrap... Uh, where are those iron gloves? Right here. Let's scrap those. We're going to put our frames back. Motorbike can go down here. Um, let's Pills crate and the working stiff. We'll take a look at these. can make the glue. There's a uh, magnet. We've already got one back at the house. It's better than that. Yeah, bandage. Let's just use this. Not that we need. <laughs> we don't need to use it, but whatever. All right, let's leave some stuff behind. Don't need this. We're going to scrap this. Three feathers. Uh, yes, yes, I am keeping the gunpowder. Every piece of gunpowder matters to me. Uh, nothing in here. What was in here again? Glue. Let's take the glue. Plus I have to make. Take those because we can sell them. What was in here? Some meat, sham, eh. Alright, I'm going to loot this place, see if I find anything else amazing. If so, I will keep it and then I will see you guys out front. Alright guys, so I went through that whole place. I left all the paper and stuff that I had in my backpack behind. Got five things of duct tape. Uh, you saw me pick up a couple of chairs. I got a little bit of extra cash, compound bow. You saw me get these. I found a couple of... Uh, cans of dog food behind that in that uh, purse that we saw up in the ledge up there so I got that oh we don't need the wood drop that out of here um, what else actually you know what let's pick this up and let's make a frame out of it because why not let's make two frames out of it because why not yeah um, yeah so I, mean, I didn't really leave much behind um, a couple of cans of food in the kitchen stuff like that so yeah I mean overall it was all right if you like I said if it's a uh, you know what tempted fate this can't be a mine, right, guys? There you go, hubcap. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it was okay. I'm going to hit up that second trader on the way back, so let's go do that now. Um, and I will meet you at the trader. All right, so here's that trader. Kind of a nice-looking spot here. There's, like, a town right there. You know, a little house down the road. If I had found, if I had been here first. Whoa! What's up, buddy? Uh, if I had seen this one first, 
We could have easily put a, put a uh, base around here. Uh, let's go finish this guy off. He's feeling dejected now, so he's walking away. He's all like, dude, you're just gonna run me over and leave? No, I'm not gonna fight you. Whoops. Sorry about that. Alright, let's go inside. Let's go sell all this junk. Uh, this guy didn't even bother checking what he had in here. I don't know what he's got functioning and what he doesn't, because at this point in the game, we've got everything and we don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, going here. Yeah. You need assistance? I do. What do you got for your inventory here? Let's sell all this stuff off. Gonna sell the water purifier schematic. Ah, uh, you know what? I gotta stop doing that. I gotta see what's what's better. Like you get, this was how much? 75 for the schematic. But I think if you make it and put it on a weapon, you get a heck of a lot more. I'm gonna sell the Magnum. Uh, fire axe can go, steel one can go. That's 200 and something, nice. We got like 1900, this, this uh, oh, we got more here. How much is a die worth? No sell price, but I think if you put a die on a weapon before you sell it, it, it increases the value, I think, pretty sure. Uh, so I haven't checked this guy in a while. I want to see what he's got uh, building-wise. We got, no, not building. Decor. Another bar stool. We got two bar stools now, but let's get a third one. Why is rebar considered decor? Sofa chair. We've already got chairs and stuff. I think we can make those. Gunpowder, you got 120. Uh, where, um, ammunition, ammo weapons. He doesn't have any... Yeah, so hoping he would have some stuff to, um, let's just buy that, it's only 240. Uh, I thought he had bullet tips and stuff, but he doesn't. What do you got in his super secret stash? Uh, 762 ammo, 74 rounds. What are you gonna get? You can get all of them for 1600. Let's take them. Yeah, most of the stuff I've been buying at the trader has just been ammo. Shotgun rounds, we got a ton of shotgun rounds, don't need to worry about those. Nails we can make. Uh, resources, I can make all this stuff. This is the stuff I sold in before, I think. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything else we want here. We got night vision goggles back at the base, which I really haven't been using, but I should be. We do some night attacks. All right, that's good. Thanks Let's head back. Here. Well, come thanks again. for being here. I will come again, Jen. All right, let's head home. I'm going to show you the base where the episode ends. Yeah, too, just before we get back, um, I just left the trader. So, the one thing I will say is our bed is still back at the original base that we built way, way back on episode two or three, one or two, whatever it was in the desert. It is still there. So, that's where our bed roll is. Whoa, excuse me. Um, and... We don't, haven't got any respawns inside our, our other base with just the uh, um, land claim block. So I think the land claim block does block respawns. It doesn't block spawns. Just going to say that again. All right. See you at home. Well, I hit this bear leaving here. Here it is. Whoa. He's got some weight to him. Oh, what's up, Mo? How you doing today? Apparently not good. All right, guys, I'm just going to stop at this trader real quick. I want to see if he's got any more uh, bullet tips and bullet casings. I haven't been here in a while, so I don't know what he's got. Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Joel. How are you doing? All right, what do you got for me, buddy? Uh, ammo. Re well, mods, nothing we want. Tools, traps. Uh, no, we want uh, ammo and weapons. I oh, got yeah, a little bit of gunpowder. I'll buy that. Uh, nothing here, eh? Super secret stanch. SWAT helmet. Eh, it's a little better than what we have, but I like our military helmet. Storage pocket. We don't need, because we're maxed out already. Ammo. How much can we buy here? Not that much, that's for sure. Uh, 30 maybe? For 540. 33. It's not going to cover what we used today, though. We used a hell of a lot, hell of, a lot of ammo today. By 33 rounds it gives us down to 14. That's thank fine. You, oh, thank you. Check back soon. I get new merchandise daily. Got any books? Nah. Sometimes you get lucky. Where are you over here? Crotch shot. 
Oh, come on. I don't know why I'm doing this. I guess the 550 XP means a lot to me. Hey, what's up, buddy? This is a wandering horde, it is. Why do they always come at nighttime? Guys. Died from a shot to the pills. Let's take these guys on from in here. Dun -dun 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 -dun. What's up, dude? I guess wandering hordes automatically know you're here. Oh, Sif. I'm just wasting ammo now. Let's get this guy. I thought that rock was a bear for a second. Okay, Moe's dead. Let's get outside, just hammer these guys and get out of here. Well, not hammer them. We'll bat them. Bat them around a little bit. Be nice if those doors opened in the direction that you were facing. So, when you open them from the inside, they open outwards. And if you open them from the outside, they open inwards. So much easier this way. Ooh, shot in the groin. Uh, you must be tired. Well, I guess he's a little tired. Let's grab that. Uh, any more arrows? You cheap bastards. Alright, let's get home. Alright guys, so we're arriving home here. And as you can see, the upper level of my building is slowly coming along. I'll show you that from the inside. Um, in the back there is all reinforced concrete now. Uh, I'm going to be doing the whole building of reinforced concrete and then painting it. I thought I heard a zombie. Uh, but the horde base, I just did all the repairs. I didn't do anything else to it. It's still sitting there. Um, so I haven't done anything for the next horde. I don't know how much we'll do for the next horde. I might do, I might, I got a couple of other ideas I'd like to try, but I don't know if I will. I haven't replaced the spikes here yet either. So we've done the front here too. I'm just going to show you that from the outside first. Let's pick this up. So, yeah, you can see here over the door now, there is a little murder cage. Basically, I can walk out here and shoot down on guys that are outside here or at the front. So if we get a wandering whore that's deciding to do some stuff, we can come out here. And it's got a little uh, um, cage over top of it so that if we have birds too that can't uh, come down on me. And these are iron in here. This is all reinforced concrete now and painted. So if they get into the front door here, we can just kind of shoot them down through the murder holes. Let's go in here. Uh, so this part is still the same here down below, but I changed the front here a little bit. So now we've got a little platform up here. Uh, this is made out of reinforced concrete, some iron bars on either side, just in case they break in for whatever reason. Uh, we do have a way to defend ourselves here. So let's just kind of go up here. So we can stand up here and shoot down and really just it's going to be going into the corners and we can see pretty much all the way across. Shooting down here, painted all this. So outside... Like I said, reinforced concrete. I haven't painted out here yet, but I will be painting the outside of the building. So now we can come out here if there's, you know, a good size hoard or whatever that comes by. We can always just get them from out here. Um, I'm going to decorate it later. Um, I put a reinforced hatch in here. just upgraded this thing to max. Just because. Because why not? Uh, and then, so this is pretty much the same. I moved um, nothing. I don't think I moved anything. Everything's still the same here. We had a second bar stool here. Now we got a third one on us, which we'll be putting down. I had to move the lockers out of here because they were blocking me putting blocks down. Now this is reinforced concrete under here. Uh, I got to finish painting this and everything. But um, yeah, so this is all reinforced now. So what I did was this staircase was kind of precarious because if they made their way in down below, they could always walk up to the top. So I made it now so that they can't do that. So we've got a reinforced door in here or a vault door in here right with like reinforced concrete and this is bulletproof glass so that they can't get across um, and this goes all the way down here so if they do kind of get in like I said I gotta finish painting that first but uh, if they do get in they're not going to be able to get upstairs very easily so if we do find that little wandering horde in the basement here for whatever reason they're not getting up above uh, these doors are still the same so yeah that's pretty much it this actually took quite a while because I had to knock out all of the wood that was here you can see here we, where I've kind of gone up to here. Um, this is all reinforced concrete now. 
so the outside will be all reinforced concrete at some point. So if we do get attacked, for whatever reason, by a horde, like the horde knight in here, like I miss the number or something and they attack, they will not be doing much. I have to work on the lighting in here. I'm thinking about doing electricity. We picked up another generator bank. I haven't put it, excuse me, I haven't put it down yet, but we're going to be uh, um, working on getting electricity through this whole place. So that's kind of my next goal. This ladder I'll replace with steel at some point. But this is the upper part here. Now, remember before we had um, wood bars here, I replaced this all with regular glass. Now, it just it is regular glass. I mean, we can break it with one hit, but it's just enough to be able to see outside and stuff. So I did that. And then out here, I have worked on the roof uh, quite a bit, as you can see. So we've got a little balcony down here on both sides where we can kind of walk around. I'm going to work on somehow maybe getting this connected to down the front there with the... Uh, little cage. I don't know yet. Might I might, I might not. We'll see. But at least we can see our courtyard down here. And it's like a nice little sniper tower. So if I do feel like I'm going off the rails, I can come out here with a sniper rifle and just shoot, shoot zombies in the distance. And that's the same on both sides. I haven't figured out what I'm doing here yet. Under here is where this, the, uh, the still is, I think, or under here. We've got our uh, oven in here and our stove. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this yet. I will do something with it. I might make a little a tower like a crow's nest tower up here or something I don't know but I'll do something with that at some point point. and then up here I haven't completely finished that but we got it all painted so this is like a nice little uh, tent out here you can come and have your dinner sit nice picnic table with a candle at it and then I'm working on something for down here I haven't decided what it's gonna be yet but we can see out the back here so we got a good vantage point now from up here it's kind of nice the only thing we have to worry about is birds but like I said you know you come out here with a sniper rifle and it's pretty much the end of them so yeah, that's all I've kind of done up here. Uh, it's all painted now too, with the exception of the roof part, which I'm not really worried about right now. I might make another little seating area up there, but I don't know yet. So yeah, that's kind of the digs. Um, I gotta say, seven days to die is really fun to build stuff in. At a certain point, like where, like what we're at right now, uh, I'm not really afraid of wandering hordes or anything. It's just really Horde Night you gotta worry about. And I can understand if you're playing a Horde Night every seven days, it being chaotic, I don't know how much of this you'd be able to do. Uh, probably be able to do the same amount um, in the same amount of time if you had a good horde base to start with. Um, but yeah, I like the relaxation of just being able to build and have fun and stuff in the world rather than constantly having to fight off a horde every seven days or every day or whatever you, you feel like doing. So yeah. All right, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it's an update. I don't know when the next one will be. It might be in a little while. Um, I'm still, Like I said, I'm, I'm still playing this game. Um, probably be showing the Day 90 Horde too at some point. I gotta figure out what we're gonna do for that. I think the last, the base worked out well last time. I think we just stick with that and see how it works on the Day 90 Horde. We do have the secondary base we can retreat to, so I feel pretty confident of being able to take them out, even if they decide to just, uh, beat up on the uh, foundation down below. Um, I think we'll be okay, um, dealing with them in that, uh, the two bases that we have. Alright, so I'm going to leave the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.